We're off to a fantastic start with five wins out of five, but today could really jeopardise that as we have a big derby against Inter Milan, followed by a big match in the Champions League against old firm rivals Leipzig. I know they're not really a rival, but I suppose they're old Dortmund rivals, so we can call them old firm rivals, even though that's probably for Rangers and Celtic, but enough of the rambling, let's get on with it. Hello everyone, it is TIJ and welcome to episode 2 of season 6 of Conquering Europe on Foot Match 2019 with your Benson. Today we play against our rivals Inter Milan who haven't had the best of starts compared to some of the top clubs. They've only lost one game saying that though and have won 4 out of the 5. They actually lost their match to Milan and then we play at home against RB Leipzig later on in the episode. Now you might well notice that there's no green screen screen behind me today and for the reason for that is is that I'm recording this at night, and for some reason the green screen doesn't quite work at night, and I'll probably need some external lighting, etc, etc. But I've tried for 10-15 minutes to fiddle around with the settings, and I just can't be bothered to do that, to be honest. Not for a not for a picture that'll look quite weak, so for a few videos, possibly till February, etc, maybe when the light gets a little bit better, um, you might have to deal with one or two no green screen videos a week. So I apologise for that greatly, but there's not a hell of a lot I can do about that. But I'm sure... Um, you've dealt with it for the last, what, year and a half, year or so. So, you know, I'm sure you can deal with it for a video or two at the moment. But I do apologise for that. Um, but at least I've let you know in advance. But to be fair, if you didn't know no, by name, be a bit, little bit daft. Um, how rude am I now? Not to show you how we've got on in the league so far. So we obviously beat Cagliari in our first game. Then we went and beat Bologna away from home. Our first away game and first away win. 3-2. Diego Costa getting his first goals for the club. In fact, getting two of them. Um, but even though they did make it one each at one point, Costa made it 2-1. They actually brought it back to make it two each. And then Pietro Paolo Littardi, who's one of our uh, youngsters on the left wing, who's actually doing particularly well at the moment. He's having a run in the first team. Um, and he's doing really well. Got his first goal there. And then Mount and Costa continued that good start with goals against Parma, with uh, Luka Jovic scoring the goals against Udinese to get a win. And then we went away to uh, FC Michelin, the easiest team in our Champions League group. Littardi getting another goal there. And Dona getting his first and an own goal for one of their defenders finishing it off. And then we beat our feeder club, Sassuolo. Uh, that, that's the wrong. Sassuolo, 2-1 uh, in the league. Getting two goals fairly early on, courtesy of Latardi and Jovic. They did get one in reply, but we still got the three points. So we've only conceded... Um, actually, no, we've only, we've only conceded three in the league so far. Um, we've scored in four, eight, ten. So, yeah, we've, we've got a um, good goal difference of seven after seven, after seven matches. After five matches and just trail... Uh, Napoli and Milan on goal difference. We're doing quite well so far, but as I say, we have got in our Champions League group RB Leipzig and Manchester City, the champions of the English division. And Man City and Leipzig drew their first game in the competition, so if we can beat Leipzig in today's episode, that could potentially put us a good um, two points clear at least, but five points clear, pardon me, of Leipzig. Um, that'd be a really good result for us. But for the first game of the episode against Inter Milan away from home, this is the team that's going to face them. We've got Chesney in goal with De Silio, Matip, Senesai and Brecker at the back. We've really got our best team out, I'd say, at the moment. Not really complaining about any players that are injured at the moment. Mason Mount and Witzel are in the midfield with Raheem Sterling and Littardi, as we were on about earlier, on the wing. And then our two best performing strikers at the moment, Yuk Lukijovic and Diego Costa, make up the front two. To be fair, I've never actually used this webcam Outside of using the green screen, I have to say it looks pretty good. That's not going to um, make sure I use the green, uh, don't use the green screen in the future. But it's a good backup nonetheless if it doesn't work. And uh, if you guys are okay with it, just let me know in the comments. And um, it gives me a little bit of assurance that if it's needed in the future, that I can um, run with it. But as I say, it's just one of them things. Um, I'm recording this at two minutes to six at night, which is about the time I do settle down to record. A bit of FM, obviously I've gone back to sick form now, so the Christmas period I was able to record it in good daylight, whereas now it's pitch black, but by a month's time, by a month, month and a half's time, you know, the end of February, uh, to be safe, um, I'll have more than enough light to do videos, and I record most of my videos the weekend, um, and on days that I'm not back so late anyway, so it will only be the odd video here and there, where I'll have to use... Um, this webcam rather than the green screen. And again, I do apologise for that, but I'm not going to go over the fact time and time again. Uh, let's focus on some football today, shall we? And it seems that Inter Milan have not necessarily... Well, in fact, we've got more possession than them, and credit to us. Um, it's something that we don't usually do in my whole... You know, in the, in the tactic we use in the whole career. Um, but we've had more possession, but they've had a lot more shots than us. But, you know, we've clawed it back with, by having one or two shots. But with 40 minutes, uh, 40 minutes gone, it is nil-nil here, which is a bit bizarre. Um, a game that you'd think would be a little bit high scoring, but I do think that our 
our winning run might well end here. But if we can get three points out of him to Milan, which doesn't seem like it's going to be at the moment, because I think for the first time in the season, we have gone behind to Inter Milan with Pinamonte getting their first goal. Um, the winning run might certainly be over. Whether the unbeaten run is over is a different question, but I think the winning run will most certainly be over um, in this match. Again, Inter Milan, a solid team, especially um, considering we're playing them away from home. It'll be a tricky match for us, but... One team that's made a really bad start is Roma. Five points from five. Not a good start for them at all. But Milan um, and Napoli have really kept up with us so far with five wins from five. If we can get the sixth win today, uh, again, it'll just put pressure on those two teams to maintain their records. But as it stands at the moment, it looks like Inter Milan are going to uh, inflict our first defeat on us as, Dor uh, as Juventus boss. Not Dortmund. Great ball there from Breca up to Jovic. Now can Jovic do something with it? He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He shoots... But he gets around the keeper again, and it's one each. Brilliant um, determination and focus from Jovic. Didn't do it first time, but was resi resilient on the second occasion um, and put it in the back of the Inter Milan net. But it was really a good, good move, started by a quite a, a strong tackle from Breca, given to Jovic, and it went straight to the goalkeeper, Ros, back at the first attempt. But he went around the goalkeeper in the last defender, which was quite poor from those two, really, in the second attempt. But nonetheless, after... Um, a few minutes of being behind and, you know, draining our sorrows and going, oh, you know, we're going to lose this match. We are back on level terms. Good ball from Witzel out to Latardi on the left. Now, Latardi puts it into Jovic. Great space found, and it's very nearly ourselves that are in front in this game. It seems we've reacted particularly well to going behind, which is brilliant to see. It's not something we've had to deal with particularly so far, but we have dealt brilliantly with going behind. It looks like Jovic is, you know, in his, in his, in his element, sorry, up front. Um, and that is great. But Costa's not really been in the game so far, but Diego Costa, he's had a great start. He's scored three league goals, a few in the Champions League, um, and I think he'll, you know, he's, he's a good asset to have, so I think that we'll keep it on for now. And as it just said there, we have been the better team. We've had more possession, more pass completion rates, more tackles won. Okay, less headers won, but, you know, who gives a scooby about that? The only stat that does matter, of course, is the end of the match, who wins the match, but at the moment, neither team is winning. I'd certainly take a draw here, but a win would be absolutely fantastic. What I wouldn't take so well um, is a loss, and Inter might well score again here, but a great block from one of our defenders there, number 13, Axel Witzel actually blocking the shot. Um, and again, as Axel Witzel doing really well there, I think number 13. No, it's Mason Mount, sorry, um, who blocked that one. But we're back in again. What a shot from them, um, and Pinamonte puts it in the back of the net. But I think it might well be offside. Um, yeah, the referee has disallowed that one due to offside, but it's a get agile free card for us there, definitely there, so it's uh, it's going to be an interesting one, it's going to be interesting to see which team will come up um, and do better, I mean it's very balanced now in terms of the stats, they've had, they've had one, one more shot than us, we've had one more percent of possession, but a great win back, and Diego Costa, as I said before, I've reiterated it time and time again, he's come into the game, a brilliant goal from Costa, um, they gave away possession too easily, I think Latardi won that one, he was quite on his guard, uh, won that one very nicely. It was Latardi. Won it from him. It was quite a poor, uh, poor um, throwing from... Vr, 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 yeah, let's, let's not bother. Um, and a good assist from Latardi and a great individual goal from um, Diego Costa. It's just a question of whether Inter Milan can come back from being down now. We obviously did it. We came back to 1-1 and 2-1 ahead. But how will they react to going 2-1 down? Particularly because they've just had a disallowed goal as well. But it's a great ball already from Pinamonte. <sighs> the post just denying them for an instant equaliser. Um, we are going to make a few personnel changes. I did think Costa might be the one to come off uh, before the goal, but that's not going to happen now. Obviously, he's just scored. But we are going to bring um, what's his face off, Witzel off for Pjanic in the midfield, um, and we're also going to bring off. No, we're going to leave it there. I was going to say Brecker, but he made a brilliant um, assist for the first goal, even though it didn't count as assist because there was too much divering about up front um, and a bit of a gap battle between the goalkeeper and Jovic. So it's not class to say. Uh, Assist, but I have to say, I'm really pleased with how we've got back into this game. The early exchanges and the first goal from um, Juventus really suggested to me. I thought, oh, God, you know, they're going to win this one quite easy. Sorry, Inter Milan were the ones who uh, scored the first goal. And we're counting our lucky chickens there that we um, certainly didn't bring Barreca off because he made a fantastic tackle on Pinamonte. Without that one, I think we would most certainly would have been back level again. But I do think that in, in this team, it seems the best form of defence is attack, which is something that's... You know, the same quite often, but uh, no, it seems that in this team, you know, we've gone counter-attacking again just to preserve our lead. And it seems that they're coming on to us a little bit now. So it's, whether, it's, a, it's a question of perhaps whether um, attack is the best form of defence with this team. I'm really not really sure. The highlight's not over, though, yet, which makes me wonder 
whether they're going to get back into it. But a great inception for Pjanic. Out on the right to Raheem Sterling. Into the box for Letardi to Jovic and De Vries. Stefan De Vries, God knows what he was doing. Um, we're not going to make the substitution now. But De Vries um, makes a particularly bizarre fault there. Um, from a cracking cross from Sterling, it has to be said. And we made it 3-1. Um, in fact, it was the ball back in from the cut, Letardi rather than the Sterling cross. But it wouldn't have got to Jovic. De Vries had that one covered very nicely. Um, but it was sloppy. It was really, really sloppy. So that looks like it's the end of their game. But uh, I'm very, I'm, you know, I'm particularly happy with that. I'm not going to be fussed at all. Uh, we're going to bring Andone on um, for Costa up front. He's had a good goal. You know, he got the first goal. Uh, sorry, he got the goal uh, to actually put us ahead, which was a big, a big thing to get us back into this game. But uh, I think unless they score two now, which isn't very likely, but they've got one of those. You know, credit to them. They've got the one. Going to be a little, going a little bit defensively leaky today. But against the big teams, um, that's something I'm not particularly surprised at. As long as we don't concede another one. But as I was saying, as long as we don't concede one, we get the three points today. Which is hopefully what we are going to do. Um, potentially we should have gone back to couch attacking now. Because it looks like Pinamonte and the rest of the Inter Milan attack are back onto us now. Canavo in the box. Shoots and a great save from Chesney. But it doesn't quite go out for a corner. So it's a second chance. But uh, Breca makes the crucial um defensive clearance but it wasn't really a clearance obviously it's straight back out um, and out of possession we're just going to go with um, prevention of um, a short distribution from the keeper and we are going to go counter attacking at this point just to say to the lads right tighten up um, I'm said push forward though which makes it look like a right wally uh, we are going to change the opposition instructions hopefully me saying push forward isn't going to go huh? you know lads aren't going to go what on earth is he talking about Good kick out there from Chesney there. If somebody would have took advantage, that would have been very good. But the chance isn't over yet. Nacho, back to Rosbach. He could well still be a bit fumbled here. Um, a good win by Senesai, but De Vries gets it back. They've got it, but Lopez can't get it. The youngster Lopez can't get it. And Emma shoots and scores. Oh, what, I mean, what a game. You know, it's been a brilliant game. Um, no question about that. It's been great. But, uh, you know, we, we've been in front, we've been behind, and now we're back level and... I have to say, is it good enough? No, it's not really. Um, I mean, fundamentally, it's our first drop point to the season. You can let us get, get away with that a little bit, but uh, no. Is it good enough? Ah, no, it's not really, but, you know, I said I'd take a point against Inter Milan. I'm just a bit gutted because we were ahead uh, on several occasions, but it's not the end of the game yet, and a good a good save from their keeper, Ross, back. I mean, uh, for all intents and purposes, Inter could still win this game, so... It's still very much um, in the hands of the gods. And now see in the box puts it into Casaravo. Not Casaravo, Canavo. And bloody hell. Inter Milan have got ahead and they're going to win him. Oh, dear. What? It, I mean, it's been a cracking game. I keep saying that, but uh, I'm only saying that because I don't have a foul mouth rant at the camera. But uh, it looks like, unless something drastic happens here, that we've lost our first game of the year... And uh, it, it's because of two late goals from the opposition that we've lost. And that's not something that I'm proud of whatsoever. If we'd have been outclassed all day, it would have been fair enough. But we've uh, lost due to two late goals. Really not good enough. I'm sure that he's delighted with that, is Spalletti. So we go down to fourth now. And we could well go down um, to sixth, funnily enough, after the next game. If Palermo and Fiorentina win their game. But, nonetheless... We don't focus on the Serie A anymore in today's episode. Let's just hope we can get some points out of Leipzig or else be a pretty boring, pointless episode. Not pointless in terms of a waste of time, but, you know, no points. Ensuring we don't lose two in a row, we've made some changes at our line. We haven't made any chances. It's exactly the same team that's gone out to face Inter Milan. I just hope that today we are a lot less leaky at the back. I mean, we, we scored three against them. That's a good credit to us, and we did well in that aspect, but... We were away from home, that's one thing that we can attribute the blame to potentially, and as I said we were leaky at the back, but hopefully it's not too lost in time, I have to say it's quite a shock coming to play Leipzig um, after such a short amount of time, I never thought we would be playing them so quickly, we did play Dortmund the first game of our managerial career here, but we didn't actually manage it, it was sort of a friendly cup, but it was quite weird how it turned out that way, that we ended up playing um, Dortmund, but I wouldn't be surprised if we lose 2-2 two two in today's episode, because we've seen them before, uh, Leipzig are a very good side, they beat our league winning uh, Dortmund side last year, I'm not quite sure how good this side is, I think mean, it's a solid side, whether it's a league winning side, I'm not quite sure, 
um, because the only real big opponent that we've had to face so far, I would say, um, obviously is the last game we played against Inter Milan. So if we lose against here, uh, if we lose again here, sorry, in style, then that's not a good omen for us. But we're still adjusting to the club, you know. We're, I don't think it's going to be a one-season thing here, as it was at Dortmund. As I said, we were, we had a big element of luck, really, at uh, at Dortmund. But we're not going to get let that let that phase us. If we can win the league first time round, I'll be very happy with it. But I'm just hoping that one loss doesn't lead um, to a bit of a slump in form. But a great ball from Mason Mount. And somebody's got on the end of it, thank God. And Letardi with another good goal. Um, he's been someone who's come out. And I thought, I'll just play him for half an hour. And he scored a goal. Um, and he's in the team every single game now. And Diego Costa couldn't quite get to it. To be fair, his shot was straight at the keeper. But some good prep work from the right back to Silio and a good cross from Mount. Jovic couldn't get anywhere near it. But uh, Costa had a shot and it fumbled off a few defenders. And luckily, we have took the lead here, which is great. Chelsea turtle up in their game, um, which I'm not too bothered about, to be quite honest. Um, they've had more than enough possession. They've had 56% of it. Looks like Costa has had a bad game. He's made sure we've lost the ball there. And that, that wow. Barrow was not messing about that. It's his sixth goal of the year, um, and he scored a brilliant goal. You know, a very good individual effort, and that's put us right back on the burner, and it's one each, which is never the best way to go, but we're only half an hour in here. You know, it seems that we're not, we're not well, we are actually. We're dominating at the moment, so maybe we want, might want to use that advantage to get a goal on the board. Good ball from Mason Mount to Jovic, and it's just over the bar. Really close uh, marginal gains, and I know that, you know, you might say at the end of this game, well, that was a chance we should just put in the back of the net, so... You, you can't score them all at the end of the day, and you, you can't really do much about that. But I'll say the same against Inter, I'll say the same here. It'd be brilliant to walk away with a win, but as long as you walk away with a draw, uh, I'll be more than satisfied. But if we do lose here, again, I'll be very, 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 very frustrated. Um, but a cracking ball away from Witzel, but again, um, it was another one of those silly chances that we probably wasted to get the ball away and start a counter-attack there. But we are going to tell the lads we're frustrated with what, this, with what we've seen. You know, we've had 11 shots, fundamentally, and... We are a better team on, than Leipzig on paper. We should never think that we're a better team than them um, and be complacent because that's never a good way to go. But there's still plenty of time to go in this match. You know, there's still, still plenty of things that can be done. We are going to bring Gandone on for Costa um, because Costa's just not at his day today. We're going to bring Zuelli on, another one of our youngsters um, that seems to have a similar um, ability to Letardi. So hopefully the two young um, the two young wingers can combine to make a goal or something along those lines. It'd be brilliant if we could. Um, Brecker back to Sinisi. Hopefully we don't concede a stupid goal here through a mistake. Again, good uh, pass completion rate. It's not the best tackle completion rate, granted, but uh, a good pass completion rate nonetheless. Good ball from Mounts. Decilio. Decilio, decent ball up, but doesn't really make it anywhere now. Um, Leipzig had possession back. We are going to make sure that we focus play down the wings. That's something I forgot to turn on. Uh, we are going to put a bit more slightly direct passing on. Um, and we are going to just put a bit of a lower defensive line on. Just to make sure um, that we don't, we're not threatened by counter attacks. I do remember that by uh, by that Leipzig um, are very good at the whole f old fashioned counter attack, and this may well be another goal here. Can oh, it's just over the bar from Enrique Chan again. Every team has a chance in a game, and that's exactly um, what Leipzig have had there, like we did earlier, um, and they've just missed that. So I mean, that's that's our get out, get out of jail free card. That's probably another one though that we've used maybe one too many this time. Vitz will lose the ball, and that is definitely a get-out-of-jail free card. A good uh, save from Breca. Um, but nonetheless, they're still back on the ball. And Alina on the edge of the box, he's going to shoot, is he? And uh, that's quite a poor shot, really. It's in the space in which the player had. But it seems Breca's had a really a poor game. But we're, uh, yeah, we'll bring him off now, in fact. I don't want to risk losing anything else. That would just be silly. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Actually... It might well be wise just to play a defensive deep line player, maker, just to make sure we've got that cover in defence. Um, and then we can move the defence up a little bit. Uh, maybe more direct passing at this stage. I do want to get a win out of this one, because I think a draw would, wouldn't really um, be justified. But, you know, if we draw, we draw. But I certainly don't want to lose. And maybe going for a more attacking tactic might well be risking a loss here. But there's still 10 minutes to go. You know, the story can still very much change in either favour. That's certainly been proven by the last game. But, you know, we, we, we win here or we draw here. We still remain um, a comfortable amount of points clear of Leipzig. Oh, he's made a mistake as the keeper. And Florida and Dono's put us in the lead. Lovely. That's just what we needed. And to be fair, I'll be honest, I think we deserve it. Because we've had some very good stats today. 17 shots, 10 on target. The goalkeeper being really daft there. Bungartel 
and puts it back to the goalkeeper. Great work from Andone to keep on his toes. And the goalkeeper lost the ball, and Florian Andone put his second goal in the year. And that should well be it here, but you never know. We've still got a few minutes left. They have gone with a back five, though, apparently, you know, which seems very, very, very bizarre. Um, good tackle from De Cilio, but it's back into the box. Matip gets it out for now. Um, Gagula Adini, back out to Emre Chan, back out to the midfield. And what a goal that is from their midfielder. And that, you can't really argue with that. You can't argue with it at all. It's a brilliant goal. But uh, <sighs> too leaky at the back today, really have been. Got to assess this for the future because we've dropped points today. We've dropped two points here. We've dropped three points against um, Inter. And we're certainly not the finished product here. You know, you could have believed, you could have said that with our earlier games that, you know, we are the finished product and, you know, oh, we're great and all that sort of thing. But we're certainly not. We're not the finished product at all. And this episode has just proved it. We're very much just in the starting stages of our adventure here at Juventus. But if you have enjoyed that nonetheless, folks, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment down below. A like down below? Well, I suppose you can. Um, leave a comment down below as well. Um, and subscribe to the news to the channel for daily FM content on a Monday to Friday. But apart from that, folks, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.